Hey guys, today we're going to be taking a look at iOS 11.4. Apple released the software yesterday and a lot of you guys are attempting to update because there's some features that are available in 11.4 that are not available on 11.3, the public release, and that's going to be messages in the cloud, of course, the AirPlay 2, the stereo pairing of HomePods and things like that. So you guys wanted to know how's the battery in case I do want to update to take advantage of some of these features. So before we begin with the test, I do want to point out that all the tests that are performed are performed with the exact same settings, same brightness, same task are performed. And I also want to go ahead and show you each device that was used on these tests. And the battery, although not every single iPhone here has battery capacity to 100%, it still is at its peak performance, so the devices are not being throttled, starting with iPhone 10. there. You see here the iPhone 6 six which is at peak performance you also have here the iphone 6s right here the 6s plus peak performance although the battery is at 86 percent capacity uh, right here we have 97 percent peak performance capacity on the iphone 8 and then the iphone 7 here as well again 97 percent peak performance capacity so all these devices had the same settings the battery was tested on the same devices of course they were upgraded and downgraded in order to do this so let's go ahead and begin with the test okay so let's go ahead and start with ios 11.3 from left to right the iphone 6 6s 7 8 and iphone 10 that's going to be the all the plus models here so the iphone 6 lasted 5 hours and 40 minutes the iphone 6s 4 hours and 40 minutes the iphone 7 5 hours and 30 minutes then we have the iphone 8 with 5 hours and 55 and the iphone 10 7 hours and 42 minutes of on-screen time that's going to be ios 11.3 so now let's take a look at ios 11.4 okay the iphone 6 five hours and 30 minutes that's 10 minutes less of on-screen time unfortunately the iphone 6s plus four hours and 15 minutes that's going to be 25 minutes less of on-screen time give or take the iphone 7 five hours and 15 minutes that's negative 15 minutes of on-screen time as well the iphone 8 five hours and 38 which is 15 minutes less as well we saw drops on all devices and the iphone 10 which bothered me the most we saw six hours and 20 minutes that's an hour and 20 minutes of on-screen time that we will lose on the iphone 10 if you update to 11.4 for those of you who wish to update to 11.4 there is the information in regards to the battery performance on these devices unfortunately not a good one it is a beta software versus an official release so that's uh, somewhat understandable but there you have it if you want to take advantage of airplay 2 and some of the additional features like messages in the cloud of 11.4 now early then those are the uh, risks that you will take i hope you guys enjoy the video and i'll see you on the next one peace